So I'm putting the finishing touches on a new workshop that I'm working on. It's going to be called Countdown to Launch. It's not available yet. It's coming up. It's not going to be too far from now, but I don't have any place for you to sign up or anything like that because we're not quite there yet. But it's going to be really, really cool. I'm super excited about it. It's going to be one of the most concise, powerful trainings that I've ever done. And I've been doing this for a while. And of course, what I want to do is I want to put as many people into this workshop as possible. And it's actually going to be free. It's going to be a free workshop. And I'm going to try to deliver great value. And of course, there I'll make an offer at some point during the workshop for something else, because that's the way this world works. And so as I go into this, I want to put the absolute max, get the maximum number of people to sign up for this workshop because that's my business, right? The more people in it, the better for them, the more they can learn, they can take this away, and the more prospects I have to make a sale to after the workshop is over. And so in conceptualizing what this is going to be, in planning out what it's going to be, I met with my team, and like the, if you're gonna put copy together to fill a workshop, to fill anything, you have to, you have to drill down to like, what is the promise? What's the promise we're making if people take the time to come and show up for this? Just because it's free doesn't mean people are gonna show up, right? That, that just doesn't cut it these days. Just having something free isn't good enough. There has to be a promise. We have to promise an outcome, a result. And, and, and I mean, this is all marketing 101, but I just wanna stress that I have been teaching people how to grow their businesses online for we're coming up on 20 years now. And so I've been doing it for a long time. And in general, in this, in this realm of teaching people how to launch, people, teaching people how to put together a promotion to either come out with a new product or re-release uh, an existing product. So I've been doing this for a really long time, almost 20 years now. And yet, as I go to put together a new workshop, a new offer, even though it's a free offer, what am I obsessing about? It's the core, you know, what's the promise? And before we can get to the promise, I have to focus on who it's for. And so I just wanna, the, the reason I'm going through this is this might be, to some of you, this might be the absolute most basic thing in the world. It's like, whatever, Jeff. Who, you know, tell me something new. But what I'll tell you is that after selling over a hundred million dollars of my products in, since I went online and having my students do a billion dollars in sales, I still, it still comes down to the basic blocking and tackling, the basic core fundamentals, which is what's the promise? And before I can even think about what that promise is, who, who am I selling to? Who is my avatar? You know, if you haven't heard that word, that's the word we use. The avatar is sort of the, the composite of your ideal client. You know, you want to you want to pick who you want to serve. And until you can start to really drill that down, then you can't figure out what the promise is. And before you get those two nailed, you certainly can't start to put together your marketing. So again, it's just going back to the those core fundamentals that you can get as complicated as you want in this business. There are so many different rabbit holes. When you start to put together a campaign like this, there are so many crazy considerations, especially when you do it at scale, like we're doing it at scale and we're going to put a lot of people in this. But at the very, very beginning, it's like figuring out who you're going to serve and what your promise is, why they should interrupt their day, their moment, and, and drop everything and come and pay attention to you. And this goes for no matter what your market is, no matter what your niche is, no matter what where you're at in the world, what language you're selling in, you have to get those things right. Because if you get don't get those things right, picking who you're serving, picking who your avatar is, really drilling down into what their hopes, dreams, frustrations, fears, desires are, and then figuring out how you can fulfill those, then you're nowhere. The marketing is absolutely nowhere until you can nail those basics. So 
I just, this is, this is front and center for me because we're going into, we're writing copy, we're creating ads, we're designing the program. But before I did that, I had to sit down with my team and just drill into, yeah, we've been selling in this general market for 20 years, but it doesn't matter. We still have to go back to those basics and, and figure out who we're selling to and where they're at right now. Because if, if, if you think about it broadly, I'm selling to people that either want to grow their business or want to have an online business or want to grow the online business that they already have. That's the same as it was in 2005 for me. But where they're at, where their mood is, the mood of the mainstream, the mood of, 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 of my prospects is, is very different than it was a year ago or five years ago or 10 years ago or 20 years ago. So go, go as deep as you want. Go down the rabbit hole as far as you want. But never forget, you have to be crystal clear on who you're serving and, and for any type of an offer, even a free offer, like this is going to be, it's going to be a free offer, but we still have to work hard to get people to sign up for that free offer and then show up and attend the training. Just because it's free doesn't, you, you don't short circuit any of that. You have to focus on those fundamentals before you get started. So I'm Jeff Walker, wherever you're watching this, scroll down, leave a comment for me, and let's go get them this week.